This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. We continue today laying the foundation with Book 1. This is Chapter 6, Section 3 and 4. Section 3 What is Real? Hi, David. Are you real? Or are you just part of the dream representing my desire to awaken? Am I the only being in the world? There is no spiritual community center, is there? Unless, of course, I decided to go there. Then it would all be exactly as I made it up to be. There never really was a man named Jesus. This is all contrived. I made you up, didn't I? Beloved one, I am real. There is only one. You are the one. I am the one. There is no person in reality. Yet the symbol of a person can be used by the Holy Spirit as a symbol of or reflection of the desire to awaken. The same applies to Jesus. There is only the Spirit God, created eternal. There is no spiritual community center in reality. And yes, if you seemed to decide to go there, it would be exactly as the ego made it up to be. Perception is selective and subjective through the ego's lens. And there is no objective world apart from the perceiver. The ego made the cosmos, yet the Holy Spirit uses what the ego made to lead to the kingdom of heaven within Love is all there is. Eternity shines. Chapter 6, Section 4 Two basic questions regarding miracles and stepping stones. Hi David, I have a few questions for you on my mind. The first... ACIM says a miracle principle that miracles should not be used as spectacles to induce belief. Question 2. If this is true, then how would you define Jesus' miracles such as feeding the multitudes, raising the dead, etc.? And third, Wayne Dyer really speaks to my soul. I see him and ACIM as in perfect alignment with their teachings. Do you see the same consistency in teachings between ACIM and Ernest Holmes and ACIM and the Unity Church? Thank you, as always, for your wonderful help in poking holes, miracles, in my clouds that are blocking the sun. I also would like to share with you a verse I came up with. Don't see the sun shining, be the sun shining. Beloved one, thanks for sharing your questions. Miracles are always only for the mind of the perceiver or dreamer. Mind is one and what seems to occur in form is merely symbolic. Miracles are for the mind that has the ears to hear, so to speak, or the willingness and readiness to behold. Seeming changes in form reflect the shift in mind of the miracle-minded, and though some of these changes seem to transcend known physical laws, in reality, There are no known physical laws. The law of spirit, love, is the only reality. 
feeding the multitudes and raising the dead were symbols of the divine law of love which has no limit or lack it is truly the beatitudes of state of mind that demonstrates the miracle has come it is this state of mind in which consistency is possible and this is a characteristic of awakening consistent form is a contradiction in terms although behavior can seem to become more stable for the miracle minded the easy way to remember that miracles are not intended to be used as spectacles to induce belief is to remember that miracles are the means of awakening for a mind that already believes yet is also willing to go beyond belief and be still and know that i am the teachings you mention are all very helpful stepping stones in awakening to oneness the holy spirit will guide you to discern the true from the false in all regards and the deeper you seem to go you will seem to transcend all linear concepts and come to an experience that will end all doubting the teachings you mention have oneness as their main focus yet there are subtleties of ego concepts that are transcended completely in enlightenment your inner work with the holy spirit will instruct you on your inward movement and help you lay aside every linear past future concept such as balance and process and growth and personality you are moving steadily inward to the experience of atonement christ and god's love